Hello and welcome to the new live chat webinar called Progressing with Live Chat Founding Your Grow. This is the first part of a three part series of webinars where we will be discussing the basics of live chat implementation, customization of the core features, and in turn, interpreting feedback and generating reports based off of this implementation. I'm your host, Blaze. Here's our agenda for today. <clears throat> First, we'll be going over installation principles of the live chat software. Second, we will show you what your visitors will be getting after you implement the live chat on your website and after you customize portions of the service. We'll also show you what agents see and what they can do with the system. On top of that, we'll go over basic reporting and hooks into your existing systems. Afterwards, we'll hold a questions and answers session. So let's start. <clears throat> Installation. The basic principle here is that a live chat code needs to be implemented within a website. It's a copy-paste operation, and afterwards, a chat window becomes present on the website. It's that simple. Also, a plugin may be used in order to implement live chat on an e-commerce shopping cart or content management systems such as WordPress, Joomla, and so forth. Visitors will be seeing a chat window available on the website immediately after implementation. The chat window originally will be a small bar in the lower right-hand corner with a message on top of it. After clicking on any part of this mechanism, a chat survey will unravel where people will be able to leave you their name, contact information such as an email, perhaps website address, phone number, anything really what you need to ask them. And afterwards, they will be connected to your chat representative. The chat window itself presents astonishing value to your customers. Not only they can chat, but they also can rate their experience email the chat transcript to themselves and also click on social media buttons to like your company and dig even deeper in the experience with your brand. There are two types of the chat window upon implementation. One is the embedded chat window on the left hand side here. What it does is it follows your visitor around your website regardless of pages browsed scrolling, it's always present and available for your visitors to chat with your representatives. Another aspect would be a pop-up chat window shown here on the right-hand side, which can be initiated by a chat button located somewhere in a visible position within your site. The chat window itself can be tailored to the style and design of your own website. We provide a set of themes colorful themes of the live chat window, and also a set of translations if you're international. Uh, we also support custom CSS, so there is absolutely no problem with styling the chat window the way you like it. You can change the borders, the frames, the logo. You can remove or add additional features. Eye catchers are another important part of the chat window. They allow your visitor to notice it, click on it, and then they can be, of course, customized with a selection of our eye catchers from our gallery. And of course, a set of uh, your own designs. The chat window <laughs> offers not only a passive way of interacting, but it also has automations built into it. These automations allow your chat representatives or chat window to open up based on certain events or criteria that need to happen during the browsing experience. The time on the website, keyword used in Google, perhaps geographical location, perhaps a rule that determines that this visitor is returning to your shop or maybe a specific page on your website with a specific product. Any of these types of events can be identified by the system 
and can automatically open up the chat window with a customly tailored message in accordance, of course, to the business rules that you define. When your agents need to head out home and your live chat becomes unattended, it automatically shifts into after hours mode. This allows you to capture leads and contact information, or maybe even hold a survey, give them a choice list when you're not available. And then when you head into office in the morning, you can follow up to these after hours messages with a standard email. After implementing the chat, you get a lot of information. This can be mind numbing at first, but it's really simple and categorized in very intuitive uh, boxes. There's a visitors list that shows you real time vision of people browsing your website. There's visitor information, such as the name, uh, geographical location, email, keywords used. You also know whether these people are returning visitors or not. Which page are they, are they browsing? How long have they been on your website? You can select them by hand and initiate chats with them, as opposed to the automated system. It's up to your preference to decide how you want to initiate chats. During that conversation, your chat agents will not only see chats aggregated in colorful circles, they will also have a chat window, visitor information available at hand, and they will be able to easily pick a chat and start a conversation. Visitor circles resemble statuses of your web visitors. These statuses show you who needs attention. Red circles uh, depict visitors who need an answer. They already asked you and they are awaiting an answer. Green circles mean you have an active chat, but this chat has already been answered you may expect someone to ask again. And gray circles are inactive chats, which you can discard. These are chats that you already have concluded. The chat window itself presents extreme value to the agent. Not only does the agent see contact info, uh, he can also scroll a bit up and get past chats with this specific person. So you have all of the information like you would have in your CRM. Uh, the agent can pull up pre-written canned responses, which are contextual. This means that all the agent needs to do is start typing a specific keyword, and it will pull up a pre-written answer for frequently asked questions. There's also a chat tools bar under the more button, which will allow chat transfers, uh, chat conclusion, use of third party applications, and so forth. What else is there? There are reports of live chat where your, your uh, administrator may review what has been happening with the live chat during that time. It will display cute visitors, conversions, visitor satisfaction. It will also have a leaderboard with performance of your agents. And of course, there's also historical data which can be pulled and reported upon in the future. Live chat will also send you a daily summary of all events that happened throughout the day. We will display how many chats you had, how many visitor ratings, what's your average rating, how many chats have been missed, and which agent had the most chats. This will be a very good suggestion how to adjust your daily operations to whatever's happening with your chat implementation. The chat can be plugged into external services such as uh, social media, mailing systems for newsletters, uh, ticketing systems for support operations, or CRMs for sales operations. There's also a functionality that allows you to put live chat info into your own existing databases to accomplish additional goals, such as passing information about visitors from your own database into live chat so that they don't even need to log into it. On top of this, your agents may use installable applications, both available for a desktop and for a mobile phone. This allows them to chat on the road 
or on whatever computer they find it convenient. This also uh, means that they won't need to use the web browser in order to converse with your visitors.